Shut up and sit down. The Lenovo IdeaPad 110S was a popular budget laptop last year, and it's not hard to see why. Considering the low price, it checked quite a few boxes. Today, we have its successor under review. The IdeaPad 120S 11i app aims to build upon the high points of its older brother while correcting some of its missteps. We'll see how well it accomplishes this task. We recently reviewed the larger 14-inch variant of the 120S. Excluding the size difference, the two machines are essentially the same. Port selection, design, and build quality are identical. However, the Lilliputian 120S has only half the RAM of the 14-inch model, 2GB versus 4GB, which limits system operation. We'll see how much this trade-off costs the 11.6-inch notebook and whether or not it's worth the 180 US dollars asking price, which is about $70 cheaper than the 14-inch scoop. Those that want a bit more pop from their device can opt for the denim blue model, which runs about $210. Aside from color, the devices are the exact same. We'll compare the IdeaPad 120S with other small budget laptops, including the previous IdeaPad 110S, the Chewy Lapbook 12.3, Acer's Travel Mic 117 and 110, and the Asus VivoBook E200 Talk. Without further ado, let's begin. Case. The case is similar in fit and finish to the larger IdeaPad 120S 14, which is a good thing. The design of our mineral gray variant is simple and straightforward without any of the garishness of other budget notebooks, although there is a more colorful denim blue option available for an additional $30. However, the chassis is made from the same cheap plastic as the other seller on based IdeaPad. While it looks good and resists fingerprints and smudges, it feels cheap in the hand. Compared to the Chewy Lapbook's sleek aluminum frame, the 120S sits in a lower tier. However, given the price, this is to be expected. On the plus side, the same rigidity we praised in the larger device makes the transition to the smaller. The keyboard deck remains firm even under direct pressure. The screen hinge has improved, while still too stiff for one-handed opening, the display doesn't bob during typing. The lid is still fairly thin and easy to bend and twist, which is unfortunate. Connectivity. Connectivity mirrors the larger IdeaPad 120S exactly. There are two USB 3.0 Type-A ports, a USB 3.1. Gen 1, Type-C, a full-sized HDMI, a micro SD card slot, and a combo audio jack. Despite the smaller stature, the ports are well-spaced with an ample amount of room for peripherals. The USB Type-C port does not support charging or Thunderbolt 3. SD Card Reader The SD card reader is about average for the industry. Hitting 85 MBS in his SSD, but is significantly faster than other budget laptops. The Chewy Lapbook, for example, managed speeds less than half the idea pads.